Yeah. Hi, I'm David, and I um, keep a large collection of snakes, and I figure that I take a lot of pictures, I post on a lot of forms, so I figure I should do some video footage of what I keep, you know, the stuff I'm breeding this year, and the offspring I'll have. So today, um, first episode of this little thing I'm doing, I'm going to show you my garter snake breeding thing that I'm doing, and uh, what kind of offspring I should get. Alright, so these are my garter snakes. This is my female. And this is my snappy as hell male. Um, what they're in right now is they're in a tub. They're both breeding. The uh, male has just been introduced. Oh, there goes the female. I do keep them in my bedroom right now, but we're moving them into a room uh, for themselves relatively soon. Um, let's see this female. See, she is a... There's two... These are uh, northern garter snakes, common garters. Uh, this phase that she has is um, more of a checkered-like, and his uh, is almost oh, more of the darker striping. Um, but I really love, they're actually a color phase. They're morph, so they are kind of legal to breed. They call them high yellow around here. I, I, that's what I've heard them been called. Um, so I breed these. I should have babies at the latest in October. But probably mid September uh, will be the time I'll have them. They are live bearers, so um, the, male, uh, the male is nippy. See, the male is a lot smaller than the female. This male is six years old, and this female probably one or two years old, and she's already pretty big. Um, what'll happen is when they breed, I leave the male in there for about six weeks, let them do their thing. Hopefully we'll have babies, um, and when we have babies I'll be, uh, you know, selling, doing that sort of thing with those. Um, so, these are the garters, and I'll show you the second breeding project. Alright, so what these are, these are called Mole King Snakes. This is the male. Uh, let me check. Yeah, this is the male, I believe. And I have um, a fuzzy in there with him. This is probably a bit big for him, but it is um, scented with a skink because they are lizard feeders predominantly. What's on the side of your face, buddy? Huh, he's got a little blister. They're wild caught, so they are, uh, they're not the um, most perfect conditioned animals. But this is the male, and um, I'll show you hit the female soon. They're a king snake. They eat basically anything. If he doesn't take this uh, hopper and the peach fuzzy I'm going to offer him next week, then I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to try uh, frozen thawed snakes, which I do have. Probably ringneck snakes that I've found dead on the road and frozen, or someone has killed in their yard and showed them to me, and I take them and freeze them. Usually if it's pretty quickly after the injury or death, um, I will freeze them and use them for things like this. Uh, and if that fails, I'll try a live lizard. And if he doesn't feed in 30 days, he's uh, going to be released. Alright, so this is my female mole king snake. Um, let me show you her real quick. She shed today, and you can see those beautiful colors in her. Um, if anything I'm going to try to keep her since she's so pretty um, I have another skink scented mouse in there with her um, here's her egg box because she is expected to lay in about mm, maybe two or three days because she did have her pre um, her pre uh, lay shed um, we got a nice water dish in there and um, I took her hide out just to show you guys I'm going to put that back in with her so that's what I'll be doing this year, and I have my incubator set up, uh, 80 degrees, nice high humidity. Hopefully we'll have baby mole king snakes for sale.